It's a lovely afternoon here on Classic FM 97.3, station that plays every song you know. And with 42 minutes just gone past one, we've got our beautiful guests in the studio here. Smile, Naego, what's that? <laughs> beautiful guests with me in I'm the studio. I'm smiling, I'm giving you everything, uh-uh. in my eyes, everything. There you go, there you go, yes. We've got Ego Bar here with us. Good afternoon, Ego. Good afternoon. Happy nice. New Year times, times five. Times 600. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's been very long, Ego. Yeah. It's been very long, but it's good to have you here. It's good to be here. Again, yes. Be here, yes. as yes. always. Absolutely. So, Lagos and the whole world, in fact, who listen to Classic FM have been expecting to listen to you mm. speak and sing. Mm. You go sing, ba? Go pay, ba? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, so we're here to talk about your music, your life, you know, just seeing how we can get to know you more, even more than we already do, right? And one, on the note I'd like to start the interview on is to go back, mm. how it all started. So let's go back to, to growing up, you know. How was it growing up? What was your childhood like? I'm not playing uh, psychologies or anything, but I feel like, you know, let's try and see how you got into music in the first place. Okay, how was it growing up and how did you find yourself on the path of music? Uh, I had a very interesting childhood. Um, we had um, quite, yeah, you know, like a, a very high level of freedom. Oh, really? You know, to okay. express ourselves. Of course, yes. Um, so we were always in the house, acting. You know how you press record and mm. you know, play and everything, and record everything on the cassette. Yeah. Um, getting the neighbors' kids to join in. You know, just acting or singing or you know, always mm-hmm. doing something creative so um and my 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 parents especially my mom loves music she sings too she has a very lovely oh, really? voice. yes it runs in the family wow so, obviously yeah. obviously <laughs> so you know i grew up in that direction and here we are well not too far off anyway not too far I mean, off. I mean, I, now i mean i, I you're do you're, you're yeah. still acting yes. and singing and so singing. you've got best of both worlds yes, to be yes, honest yes. I mean, so at what point then did you tell your parents or how did they react when you told them I that didn't you really, want to, you I know? didn't really have to tell them. I didn't tell them. It's you already know, a given. sat down, yeah, like, even from secondary school, they knew I'm a very um, drama queen. <laughs> like, drama. On and offset. I'm always, it's always, it's always, the, <laughs> life is a set. <laughs> it's a movie set. True. You know, so, um... It wasn't like, oh, we need to have a discussion. This is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Just, like I said, we had that freedom of expression. Right, you right. Know, to do, I mean, they would try to guide you and everything. But they saw that. that this, this, this is the line. There's nothing we can do about it. Mm. Well, you mentioned that you'd listen to every genre of music growing up. Who were your earliest um, influences when it comes to music? It was actually... Uh, musicians that did country because we were oh, really country yes don williams dolly parton kenny rogers kenny rogers okay. uh this was, and then we had the jim I won't, jim reeves i wouldn't jim say, reeves, say country yeah. but there was a lot it's, of it's, it's gospel country every really. morning yeah. jim is we thank you yes every morning so i liked and then i liked you know the, it was i liked the lyrics it was right. like listening to a story being mm. told and it was well that's country yes, yes very interesting so i knew the lyrics of you know a lot of those songs i'll call country music storytelling story music to, exactly it really is exactly it's so either from first person view or third person from, view exactly yeah. Yeah. very always very interesting it's always, always something uh, it's always sometimes it can be very sad, sad. <laughs> it's uh, interesting you want to see you want to know what happened you know if so you listen to this song this duet um uh, uh whiskey lullaby um, mm-hmm. By um, I go blank, but whiskey lullaby. It's a country music. It's very sad, oh, but wow. beautiful. Whiskey lullaby. I'll yeah, it's, it's, it's. I love it. I love it. I love listening to those. You know, I love that story. Mm-hmm. I just want to know what's what's going on. So those were my, I would say, earliest. Um, and then okay. you know, went to reggae. I like reggae. Oh really? Yeah. I so like you you've got a good ear for all kinds of music. Yeah. Then you like, do jazz definitely. I love jazz. Jazz is jazz. Jazz is like up there. Mm. I love jazz. Okay, so I mean, uh, uh, in your in your own space, if you wanted to listen to music, you would listen to jazz first before country. Not necessarily. Depends on my mood. Right. Sometimes right. it's rock. You do rock as well. Yeah. 
Do you know I'm rap? Very eclectic. Rap, not so much. I figured. Rap, not so much. Um, I think I used to like rap, hmm. but now not so much. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's not. It's not my go-to. Uh, it's not your go-to. Yeah. If you heard a good one, yeah, you'd oh, buy yeah. to. I like Eminem. Yeah. I really like Eminem. The old ones, Nas. especially. Yes, the old ones. You don't do this mumble rap no, no, these no, days, do you? No, no, no. I don't have the patience. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I, don't have have the patience. I like Nas. I like Tupac. <laughs> I like yeah. Yeah, Those are the kind notorious of, yeah. B.I.G. and all. Yeah. yeah, if I wanted to throw you under the bus, I'd ask you who's the greatest rapper of all time. Is it Tupac or Biggie? But Tupac. they are. Li- oh, really? No, You'll no, say. There's no. There's no. There's no. Tupac. Oh, really? Ah, uh-uh. ah. Wow. Interesting. But when it comes to music, though, how do you get your motivation? That what's what inspires you uh, when it comes to performing music or writing or making music? Those are three different things. Right. Two different things: writing, performing. Mm. Um, performing is um, you just get into a zone um, because you know this is what I want to do. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm getting ready, so you, you're 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 getting into a zone. Right. Um, I get nervous. I, yeah. Okay. I get nervous. They say that's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. Nervous, no matter so how long yes, you've been doing no it. No matter how long. So I get a bit, <coughs> you know, I get nervous, and then I just try to shake it off, and then once I start, I'm in that zone. Writing can be anything can be you talking i can just be following the rhythm of what you're saying and i'm putting something in my head can be something somebody said and i can just spread it you know it can be anything i don't have it can be anything and it can be nothing Hmm. you know so it's it's just totally different but uh, you know for both you have to be in a particular headspace yeah yeah do you remember who gave you your first big opportunity in the industry i mean how did you come to that uh, space where you got your first opportunity with music I wouldn't mention a particular person because um, I would rather say that everybody played their part okay in getting me here mm. everybody played you know a major part in getting me here and if you want to quantify oh, this is smaller than this or this is bigger than this I don't think that's fair because if I didn't have those small, in quotes, opportunities, mm. I probably wouldn't be where the big opportunities found. Yes. Me. True, so I don't true. take anything for granted. I don't. So everybody has played a part, you know, from... Ooh, a lot of people. Maybe not because people, I might miss out on people, but <laughs> a lot of people. And yeah. they, they, they know yeah. themselves. But okay, let's go to some of your earliest uh, challenges as a singer. Now, what are some of those challenges you faced? Because, I mean, from when you started till now, even till now, really, it's still a male... Still it's still, yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. And it's a male-dominated industry, right? I, I feel as if what the challenges that females would encounter, especially a young, you know, female uh, singer, when you started, would be different from what a, of a male singer would encounter. So what would be some of those earliest ones you, you faced? It, though? Now, now I'm not even, I mean, we used to say like, oh, it's tougher for, you know, the females mm. to get into the industry because it's like, oh, male. But these days, I, I re- honestly, I really don't know. Because I see girls doing a lot. I see them, I see strong girls and they're doing right. their putting. And the thing is, they're actually good. So it's not like, oh, because she's a babe or because mm. she's sexy. But mm. they're actually very good good singers and good looking women and well. you know beautiful and very talented yes yes so i feel i think it's just tough for everybody i feel it's tough tough for everybody and sometimes to be told talent is not enough yeah yeah you know what i mean of sometimes course. talent is not enough you might be lucky but it's it's part of it but these days you have to step up your game you can't just come and yes you might you might be there for a while but in the long run long term mm. you have to you have to bring it so i feel everybody's 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 going through it and everybody's trying to prove themselves yeah and, every, and they're doing a good job they're doing a, a great job well, at, at what point did you um meet Slagbaja and how did you get to be part of his band don't you know this story i don't know this story <laughs> <laughs> i don't, born I don't <laughs> I didn't tell you I was born then. Well, what if, what if I wasn't? You were. But for those who, for, for any, <laughs> ah, 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 
Please, who you see? I know what that Wait, how did how wait? How old did people think I am? I'm not. I'm not. I, I, did not, I was very really young. I was. Ego. I was. I did not. I was I did not guess your age. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you wanna, not, you wanna tell us? Looking at me, with you want to tell us how old you were when you started? First of all, no. So that you start calculating. Uh, 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 my calculator was in here. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, but, but really, for anyone who really has never heard the story of how you met yeah. Labaja, it's a very vital part of the whole ego story. I mean, okay. you can't, you can't, uh, you can't, you know, split that from the main story. Okay. So um, I was working. Um, you know, trying to, you know, in between, you know, trying to get into school and everything and just trying yeah. to figure out my life. Um, so I was working. What school was that now? I was in, I went to Keta High School. Okay. So I was okay. trying to get to university. Right. And just trying to figure out what I wanted. Okay. And then um, I was working to pass time, you know, like, mm-hmm. and earn some money, you know. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and then okay. um, I had met, that's why I said, that there's no small, there's no, no small, small contributions, contribution. yes. You know, so I, I had, I have a friend who, we just used to make noise in his car, and he's a Prince, Prince fan. So we used to like scream and you know yeah. play music and scream <laughs> in the car and everything. And then he was friends with Sonny Neji. Okay. And so one day, he came to visit me, and he came with Sonny Neji. And it's like, you should hear her sing. And I was like, go away, Joe, get out, you know. <laughs> and I was like, he was like, really? Uh, okay, you, you, you sing. I was like, yeah, I sing. Okay, would you be interested in... No, you haven't even said that. Like, what did he say? Like, would you be interested in, you know, coming in for an audition and everything? Mm. And I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. And and then Bisade came yeah. to see me. For those who don't know, Bisade is... No, he's not. So, <laughs> Bisade, came, Bisade is a producer. Uh-huh. He came to see me. And like, oh, Sonny told him about me. And then I was like, wait, you're serious? Wow. Like, who are you? You know? <laughs> and um, he said, okay, come, you know, we'll be interested in like, oh, the girl we, we, we have traveled and we, we need somebody to just fill in okay. for her. So we arranged and I went for an audition. And along the line, didn't go back. And I dropped my address and everything. Like three months later, he came to my house. The same producer. Like 7 a.m. Wow. I was getting ready for work. And he came to my house and I was like, what are you doing here? So <laughs> he didn't see me again. I disappeared. And um, so there's a show for WHO, blah, 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 wow. blah. I was like, all right. So I ended up, and there was really no time to rehearse. And so I ended up singing the songs I, I auditioned mm-hmm. you know, with. And I remember Sam Okozo played the keyboard. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was really nervous. And then we played that, and then the next one, and then she came back. And Okay, you did that show with w, for WHO? Yes, and we did the that one, and then we did another one okay. you know, for the duration that, you know, yeah. when she, while she wasn't around. And she came back, Okay. Um, and we just clicked. Mm-hmm. Our voices clicked, our personalities clicked, and we're friends. We're very good friends till today. Oh, really? Oh, no. So well, that's uh, her name. Onos Brisby. Onos Brisby. Yeah, okay. she was the one that actually did Gragra. Oh, so no, I wasn't Gra-Gra, the one that I just, I just. You, oh, mind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was still very, very good friends. Today, so okay. Interesting. Wow. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, what is it like, or what was it like, working with Lagbaja? It was very interesting. Um, it's an experience that I would. If I were to choose, I would choose over and over and over oh, really? and over and over times fifteen hundred million wow. again. Like very, very, very interesting. It's something that I I I, I know that you know when I tell stories, it's something mm. that I'm happy was part of my Your journey, life, yes. my you know my life. You know, it was very interesting. I learned so much. It wasn't so challenging. It there wasn't. Were challenging times. Okay. There were challenging times, and um, and sometimes it wasn't from it wasn't from him, it wasn't from the band, it was just from shows, right? From it just experiences. But I, I take it he was the creative director of the whole the whole yes. band, of course. Yes. Right. He's a genius. Uh, of course, yes, I know He's that. He's a genius. I know that. He's the kind of person that reads terms and conditions. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Really. Anybody that reads terms and conditions, I, I salute that person. You read the manner. Ah, ah. The manner is like this. He's like, give me, give me one week, I'll get back to you. He's, yeah, he's wow. that kind of person. He's very meticulous. meticulous. Wow. You know, wow. and I, you know, I would watch and um, learn 
I learned a lot from him. So he, he was very, very interesting. Very interesting. You guys had a little, very beautiful chemistry, to be honest, yeah. on screen and off screen as well, I can imagine. So much so that some thoughts you were his girlfriend. I was, or, actually. Yeah? Let me say it here first. I was his, I was not. <laughs> I thought you wanted to give me give me content. <laughs> see, 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 I was I was his I, was, you know, I, don't, I, I don't want to say I was his girlfriend and we had two kids. <laughs> and I should have I should have gone I should have continued. Uh, that's it, like okay, where where is this? No, we're never ever 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 evolved like that. He's, wow. He is my my friend, my mentor, my big brother, mm. uh, my teacher. Yeah, my uncle. You wow! Know, but we never, we, we just, we never did. Well, a lot of big songs by Lagbaja were done, where where the the choruses, the hooks were were performed by you. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would, you'd always find that there is no featuring ego. Is that because it, you're you're part of the band? You were not an artist, an yes, individual artist. Yes, I, I I was part of the band. Okay. And I was the backup singer. Right. Right. Um, I mean, a how beautiful many, one of that. Yeah, how many, oh, thank you. <laughs> so how many? I mean, how many songs do you hear? They say yeah. okay. You would hear the voices and everything. Of course. But I was part of the band, um, and I just, I, I, I guess I'm just that kind of person that believes you know, no matter what you're doing, just be the best. Yes. And yes. I did that, and he saw that. Hmm, this is more than a backup something. Or this mm. girl, she has, she has potential. So you started as a backup I singer. As a backup singer. Before you started yes. getting, um, yes, and then you know I would I started opening the show, hmm. um, and then it, it became okay when we're recording. I'll sing this part. You sing this part because, and I didn't know at the time, but I think he recognized that we had two different styles, okay. and he didn't want to make me lose my style or my voice. So I mean, there are some that I would sing, you know, his kind of choruses and whatever but mm. there were some that he would bring me out and say okay you sing it like this do this how you would have done it originally yeah and he, he gave me that freedom and i'm very grateful for that wow wow really really be really beautiful uh wow i'm i'm actually just here enjoying this <laughs> story to be honest this it's um it has been it has been it has been really good enlightening yeah. to be honest would you ever um Collaborate with Labaja. Oh, yeah, and I, I feel it's gonna happen soon. Wow, that would yeah. be good. Yeah, that would be good. Um, I guess somebody was asking me actually, and I said yes. It's, it just hasn't happened. It's not because oh we have to do some things or we. Mm. It just hasn't happened, you know. But, so it, but if that happened, you would be collaborating. Yes, and would not. Be, no, yeah. Not you singing yes, like that would for be, him that, like that you were before. That would be a collaboration yeah. like this. Either me featuring him or, or him, him featuring, featuring me. Me big guess now. Uh -uh, why not? You understand? Uh -uh. So. If anything, <laughs> that, that your wedge, your wedge shoe set is. <laughs> boots, boots. It's, uh -uh. Oh, that's actually a uh, leopard skin for that matter. We don't play. Uh, don't we get don't my table. Bring your leg down first. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting stuff. But let's let's go back to you because you are the main focus for today's show and your entire career. But I think a lot of people, a lot of musicians. Now I say I use that word very seriously. Musicians, yeah. not just go on uh, fruity loops and make a beat. <laughs> Those who perform. Fruity loops. Oh my god. You remember that? that <laughs> <actor? laughs> yeah, and then so a lot of musicians listening to you now, especially young female musicians especially would learn a lot from you that's why i want to focus a bit on the challenges toughest toughest moments and all that let them know you didn't just come from down up mm -hmm. it was it was a bit of a journey right yeah. so in your solo career what would you say has been the toughest um you know path for you um i think i was very or maybe i was too confident um, because I felt they know me now. They've heard they've been hearing this voice for many years. Oh, so it's going to be easy to get shows. It's going to be easy to do this. It's going to be easy to do that. And it wasn't. You know, I had to prove myself over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, and it has taught me to remain humble. And it has taught me that I shouldn't allow 
things to get into, into my to my head. Well, I wouldn't blame you though. I mean, if for the dues well, you paid or well, like I just saw, I would have thought to tell you, especially when it's burden of disrespect, do mm. have paid my dues. Yes, don't yes. play with me. Absolutely. I've also learned it's a it's a you know it's a balance. I've also learned not to downplay my abilities. Yeah, right. And your achievements. I'm a damn good singer. Oh wow. Damn. Wow. Good singer. Can I use <laughs> can I say that? Yeah. yeah. I'm a damn good singer. singer. But I won't I, I I'm always learning and I can learn from anybody. Mm. I listen to anybody. I don't care that you're ten years old. I learn from people because there's always something to learn. You don't know it all. So well, of course not. I've remained open and humble in that sense. But there's still that I have worked. Mm. I've slept on speaker. <laughs> play with me. <laughs> like, I can do those who know know what that means. I can, yeah. To sleep on speaker. And then when we want to sing, I can do some things I'm sorry you cannot do. You All understand? Right. Yes. But yes. again, you also can do some things that I cannot do. So with I mm. just keep yourself open to learning new things. Start, you know, upgrade. Beat your last record, whatever. Just keep mm -hmm. pushing. Don't ever stop. Don't ever stop. It, it was, it was, <laughs> it was tough. Oh, and it's, I would still say it's, it's tough. But every day you just learn. You just learn a lot. Mm -hmm. you learn, you learn different things, and you just learn how to arrange yourself. <laughs> yeah, and mix confidence with yes. humility. Yes. How's it been, Ego? Having fun? Having so much fun. I'm a fun guy. You, you can't are, be with me and not. And you not are. Plus, we just found out that we have one amazing <laughs> mutual interest. Ego is a biker. Yeah, have gingered me again. You have gingered me again. <laughs> no wonder. <Seriously>. Honestly, man. <laughs> Honestly. But yeah, let's let's go back to, to what we've been talking about. Uh, I, I did say before we went on that break that um, we will be talking about why and how you left Lagba Jazz Band. You've told us about how you met Lagba Jazz and the band, how you joined the band, how you grew in the band from, from a backup singer to having your own time on, on every song. Um, why did you then have to leave to your own uh, to do your own thing eventually? I just felt I'd reached my highest point there. Really? Because I just feel like life is in phases, and I just felt nothing more to do here. Um, and you know how they say, "Live while the vision is loudest." Mm. And all that. I wanted to live on a high, and I just felt I couldn't. Maybe I could have, maybe not, but I just felt I couldn't top that at that time. Um, and I just felt I needed to, I wanted to do my own thing and give other people the opportunity, you know, to, to shine. It was, it was never the same after you left. Yeah, people say that. It was but never I just the same feel after you Everybody has their, their, their time. Um, and like I said, I wanted, to, I wanted to now explore fully, you know, my sound. Mm. Um, you know, I was honing it, I was developing it uh, while I was with him, but I just felt, okay, it's time to at least try. Mm. Um, and that was it, and I, it, it was just a decision. It wasn't like anything happened, we didn't fight, mm. nothing at all. And it was even like two months before I left that I told him, so it wasn't like it was an been instant doing, thing, yeah. yeah, it was just like, <coughs> all right, need to go. You know, it's been, it's been well, what did he say to that? I mean, I, yeah, he was, he was, he was, um, a bit surprised because like oh and this was sometime in october and oh, what, I was what year in was December. it this was 2006 wow um so i was like beginning 2007 because be i think it was when your voice was everywhere yes your voice was everywhere yes. it was like ah. yes and I, I for me i i always like to leave my comfort zone mm. in anything I always try to leave my comfort. I don't like to be too... No, no surprise. If you're a biker... Yeah, I don't very, like to be too... Very comfortable like, that way. Too, okay, mm. what, what's the next Do thing? Do challenging next things. Thing? I, I, I'm, Make challenging I'm moves. I, I'm, you know. Right. So, um, I, I just told him and he was like, okay, all right. Okay, so what do you want to do? I, you know, I told him my plans and stuff. Like, okay, so December show will be like a send... Wow, so he was support. supportive. He was very supportive. Mm. And he still supported, you know, gave me advice. Like, anytime... I mean, we used to see each other at shows and we'd sit down and um, I'm like, me. <laughs> All the things I used to say that another time we used to yeah, say, you know, I'm seeing like, oh, <laughs> You're like, hey, you see what I used to tell you? Wow. Like, you know, but I learned how he handled, from how he handled a lot of situations and a lot of stuff. I learned a lot from that. So, 
and I appreciate and appreciated what he what we were putting in. Yes. That <laughs> <laughs> was that was tough one. It's actually quite nice to know that he was yeah. very supportive. I would have thought maybe he would now bring that contract and say, No, your contract no, says no, no, for the next no, five no, no, years no, no. you're He's somebody that can call and like I'm coming to harass you. Mm-hmm. You know, like he were cool like that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Of course, you did see what his actual, his real face, right? Of course. Let's, so I'll not be working with someone that, that uh, excuse me. Oh. Are, we, are we not buying music, music or somebody we don't know his face? Where? Why can't you work with Where? <laughs> Where? No, of course, I, I've seen his face. Right, because they say he's a, he's a good looking man. He is actually. No, he's a very tall, obviously. Mm-hmm. With his back. I try to get the scope. Uh, well, yeah. Yes, and that yeah, person yes, you guys have seen on, on I know, it's not, it's not him. him. I know, I know. Nah, I know he's not. not. I know that person is it's not him. It's not him. But he, he is good looking. That means there's no. That means right now there's no way he would have had coronavirus because he's been wearing <laughs> face masks. <laughs> Wait now, seriously. I told you he was a genius. Yeah. So he For saw it come in. Yes. He needs to mask up. Yep. He's been masking up since. 1944. Wow. Genius. How old is he now? Do you have an idea? No. Uh, what range like 50s 40s no not, not 40s i tell you i'm gonna have to kill you well how many of us you won't kill how many people I'll listening kill to you right? <laughs> <laughs> no i don't know i don't know <laughs> okay so um right now though ego i know you have since you went solo how many you've had loads of, of music you've, you've put out um you've put out well one of my f- let me i'm biased let me say what some of my favorites what was the name of the album again first of all first steps first steps yes Palava. Ah. You mean you romance that song, yeah? I romance it. Man. <laughs> Palava, Bianulu, uh, Fall in Love. Then, I believe, was such a beautiful, inspirational song. Yeah. What was the reason behind that song, I believe? I believe... Hmm. That song sounded I, very personal. I was telling... Yes. I was telling somebody just right before coming here, you know, the, the story bef- behind I believe... It was um, like a series of events, uh, and it just came together in mm. my head and became that song. I had just watched Hotel Rwanda, uh-huh. okay. and you know, you know, of course, it's a very haunting film, like mm. something that you think about, especially because it's a true story and everything. And there was this part where um, I think the, U- the UN were supposed to, you know, they were waiting for them to come and mm. just help them, and somebody was like, "They're not coming." Like they're not coming, um, and that just got me. Like these people were putting their hope in these people, and then they're, they're not coming. You know what do you mean? And I was just thinking about it. You know, um, in terms of like, okay, being a Nigerian, like if I, if we were in that kind of position, you know, and my aren't, aren't, aren't we almost there, really? Yeah, you know, you know, aren't I just want to go there. there. Yeah, the patriotic. Pearls in, in me. Came you know, out. Like, you know, like, I would <laughs> I would fight for you. I would be... And uh, I took elements from the um, an- anthem. Yeah. Our mm-hmm. national anthem. And I was just... It was just playing in my head. And I just sat down, picked a pen. And in 15 minutes, I wrote that. Song. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm very proud of it. As I always say, I would never doubt that. In 15 minutes? In 15 minutes, I wrote that. Song. Is that, is that the, the shortest time you've ever written yes. a song? Any song in my life. Wow. I don't know that anyone can take less than that to write a song, really. You know, sometimes it can be, it can be like that. Sometimes mm. it might take you one year. Sometimes you never finish a song. Yeah. But I'm proud because that's how I felt. It was a very genuine feeling. So the words were just there, and I was just, just writing it. Okay. Well, let's do uh, a bit of your music. Uh, we're going to take a break and then play some of your music. Mm-hmm. On the other side of this break, we have got Bianulu, which is a cover yes. of uh, Onye Kanwenu's own original song. I remember when you were here the first time you and I ever came on the radio together. It was on a Sunday, and on my Sunday show, I have something called Who Did It Better. You remember? Oh, yes! Yes, and then everyone was supposed to vote between your cover and the original. You remember who won? Did I? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you you <laughs> won. A lot of people chose your own cover of Bianulu. And how melancholic but, you but made uh, it. But of course, the, the, the original version, you know, inspired. It's actually an old, it's actually a folk, an Igbo spiritual. Yes, song. yes, yes. But she made it into something you can into dance something to. something that I could now take from and right, expand. Right. So, big ups to my big mama. Coming on Twitter, 
Uh, this tweet here from Imiabasi Paul Oko. He says, hashtag TCL, I remember the day I met Ego. It was a sad day because it was Sly's wake keeping, uh, our late Sly here. But I'll always remember it. My best song of hers is the cover of Onyeka's, Onyeka's uh, Bianulu. I love Aww. that song to bits. Aww, and you. yes, I don't blame you. I love the song <laughs> as well. On WhatsApp, though, this one says, uh, um, Good afternoon, Lawrence, and the beautiful Ego. Yeah, Did you just say you attended the legendary defunct Ikeja High School? Wow. It's not defunct. Uh, well, maybe the thing is more. This school still exists. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it yes, says, I did. Wow, that's the school I attended also. Uh, class of 06. Love your sample of Onyeka Winu's song. Uh, what other foreign songs would you love to sample? That's Tare from Ikeja. Tare, you want to do, do, you want to do business? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Ego's manager. <laughs> Why do you laugh like that? I'm even looking for a manager, Seth. It's true, Seth. Let's discuss. Waiting day. <laughs> Which thing you define for Soko do day for each other? I'm going to talk now. There you go. <laughs> this one says, Lawrence, good afternoon. Can you, uh, please, can you get Ego to do one more collaboration with Lagbaja? Well, she's here to respond to that. <laughs> and then this one says, Hi, Lawrence. It's really great to have Ego on your show today. She's one very special singer Aww, that should be so on much. the Adele level. Big ups to this great talent. Oh, That's wow. Charles. Oh, Charles is so Charles is pinning you like this. As one. In, ah. my head is just doing so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Charles. Okay, we're wrapping things up now. Ego on the show, and it's it has been really really interesting. Really? No, no, no. no we've gone over one hour, Ego. Have we? Are you enjoying my company I'm, I'm so much? It. I don't want to go again. Uh, no, we have to. We can do a, a part two, but this has been oh. it has been really really it has <laughs> been really good. Ego, we're looking forward to another album from you. Oh me. yes, very 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 soon. Right. And lots. Love and we're hoping in that album there would be a an ego lagbaja collaboration that would be good we'll see i mean this is me now putting work <laughs> in i mean <laughs> you're doing the work yes, of, of manager okay yes. we let's have to make let's, let's our let's people our, our people will talk to his people <laughs> yes and because we've got past relationship it will be a very no i don't need to talk to his people i'll talk to him <laughs> that's how we roll <laughs> that's how we roll that's how we roll <laughs> wow um, so, I mean, Ego, what, what would you say or what is your impression currently of the music industry in Nigeria? Impressive. <laughs> Impressive? <laughs> not, mean, would you say it's diluted? I would not, actually. If it's evolved it's instead. It's evolved. Right. Um, and it's, like, it's getting better. Now we're doing structure, we're doing, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. melodies, rhythm, it, some sweet. I don't think these people even know what they are singing. Like, it's very sweet. Like when wow. now I'm yeah. I have collection. I yeah. never really did. Yeah. Like I have correct collection. There was a time in Nigeria if you were, if you wanted to hold a party and you wanted to play like one hour worth of music, it's just foreign music. For All me. these Nelly. Yeah, now you can have a party and not play. You not even remember you know, that there is any foreign. Now music. I request for yes. like oh play this play that like Nigeria. Yes. No no that it has evolved. Nigerian like, music has gone very, really it's gone a, a, a good way. Big ups to, to be honest yes. This message here from Och Main it says, "You guys have made me skip my lunch, show. Ego, nice and powerful voice you've got." Thank you. Yes, indeed. You think her voice is beautiful. You haven't seen the face. If you have seen the face, then you know what I'm talking hey! about. Ego, let's talk about this. Your hair. Hmm? I know when I saw you years ago, you had very long hair, natural hair, right? Yeah. But the picture that uh, Inabas is sent here, you have cut the hair. I don't understand what then happened hmm. because you have it long back now. No, no, I didn't cut it. It was, it was. Um, I think I hadn't twisted it, so that's the like. The oh, color. I so see. I think I packed it. Oh, right. Somewhere, right. Okay. I, I guess. Okay. But I still have my my long locks. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Natural. Oh, natural. Oh, natural. Nice, nice, nice. So when are we seeing the new album? That's the last word we're gonna live. When are we seeing the new album? We're working on it. I was gonna ask you if not music, what would you? Be, uh, but it's obvious. I mean, you are coming from your your set where you had just shot a, uh, for a movie today. So yeah, I would. If be not mu- music, it would be acting or uh-huh. as a copywriter in an advertising agency. Oh really? I wish though. Those guys give me a hell of a time. <laughs> I d- I'm a voiceover artist, and they're only you. Hey. Uh, I wish you were there. So that <laughs> <laughs> like you know, because it has to do with words, like coming up with the was it bylines and all those. Yeah, like, all those yeah, funny, I, I yeah. love it. Copyright is yeah. uh, is, a, is a very talent talent yeah. based. Yeah. If you don't have the initiative for yeah. it, to think of putting words together, together, yeah. yeah. I, I would have loved to do that. 
All right, finally, let's do this last game we play on the show, right? Ha. Word association. It's very easy. I, 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 give you a, I, I give you, woefully. I give you a word. You tell me the first thing that comes to mind when I you hear it. Woefully. Oh, oh. Yeah, you, you, you do just fine. You do just fine. Okay. Shall we start? First word, music. <laughs> Come on, it's not DC. Music. That's that's love. Uh, love. Nice. And indeed, the next word I've got on my paper here is love. What comes to mind when you hear love? Love. Life. <laughs> <laughs> You're speedballing here, Ego. I know. Okay. The next word is God. Beautiful. Beautiful. Use your mic so we can hear you very well. Beautiful. All right. The next word is Labadja. <laughs> you see, I have to think of that one. <laughs> but genius. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I have another name for you. Buhari. Uh, mm. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Social media. That was the most natural reaction, reaction. that you could give. Yeah. Social media. Hmm. <laughs> 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 what comes to mind when you think of so- <laughs> social media? Uh, hmm, that's what I said. Hmm. Oh, really? That's, oh, that's your reaction. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And finally, what comes to mind when you hear Classic FM? <laughs> you're laughing. I don't, you're not supposed to laugh at that. I told you I'm, 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 I'm the worst person. You can be. <laughs> I'm an overthinker. So I would. I would. Okay, give it a, a quick second now. What would, okay. what would come to mind when you hear classic FM? Class. Class, right? Class. I'll take that. Yeah. And on that classic note, we've come to the end of our time together. <laughs> there you go. All good things must come to an end. It has been really beautiful spending time with you on the radio. Great. Thank you very much, Ego. This is one of my, this one of my, my favorites. Right? Amongst the favorites. Who? Oh, me? I'm trying to get me? this interview. Right? I thought you said me, me, me. Yeah. Should I expose you? All right. Okay, you know, on that note. Yeah. Um, let's just, let's leave it. Thank very you very much, Ego, <laughs> for coming through. Hopefully, we'll be having you here again, especially when you put out new music. I would will love be I will be to have you here again. Thank you for all the messages, of course, uh, complimenting uh, Ego's music as well. Follow Ego on social media. You're on Instagram, right? Yes. And on Twitter. Yes. What's your handle? At Ego, at Ego Sings. At Ego Sings. Yes. All right. We've got one last song by Ego to leave you with as uh, we go back to the regular schedule program here. It's Ego with fall in love i understand ld the dawn was in that video yes he was ah, he was wow yeah that's a that's a that's a, that's a nice one yeah that's and it was, nice he one. was he was he 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 came through he came through yeah. i know it's ld ld yeah, is ld now he's, he's down to earth to be honest yeah. there are some he's people you, very, when you, very when you, lovely person when you call on them they'll come through he was there yes he was there yes. and you know i appreciate it and thank you once again for that all right thank you for coming through this is ego with fall in love Bye-bye.